Next, we'll go to laws of indices. There are five laws for indices. We're going to them one by one. A. When a to the power of m times a to the power of n, since both of them have the same base, the a will remain. Both of them have the same base a, so a will remain. But we take both of the powers and we add them up. For multiplication, we add them up. So example, Two to the power of two times two to the power of three is equal to. Since both of them have the same base two, so we remain. Two will remain, and we'll take both of the powers two and three, and we we'll add them up. So it's two to the power of two plus three. That's two to the power of five. So for multiplication, we. Add them up, the powers. We add the powers. B. Now we we'll go to division. A to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. It's actually almost the same as multiplication. The a will remain since both of them have the same base. Base a. A is actually a number. And we take both of the powers m and n, and we minus minus n from m, minus the one behind from the one in front. So, example, two to the power of three divided by two to the power of two. Two will remain because it's the same base number, and then we we'll take both of the powers, three and two. So for divide, for div dividing, we'll actually minus it off, minus the one behind from the one in front. So three minus two for the powers. So we we'll get the answer of two to the power of one. When two is to the power of one, we will we do not have to write it out. So. By writing two, we'll know that it's to the power of one. So for dividing, we have we use minus subtraction for the powers. Next, C. Multiplication of powers a to the power of m with a bracket n. So, in this case, we only have one base, so we remain this base number. And since the power as bracket, we take it as multiplying. So we multiply the powers m times n. Example. Two to the power of three with a bracket to the power of two. So means like it's squaring it. We can keep the number two, and we multiply these two powers. So three times two, it's six. Do not mistake mistaken these two because one is adding it up, one is. Multiplying them, and you get a totally different number. Next, D. Go to a to the power of m times b to the power of m. In this case, we have the same power with different base number. So, since they both have the same power. The power will remain, while the number inside 
they are multiplying so we let it continue a times b bracket it to the power of m since both of them is to the power of m we let them multiply each other and then only we let it go to the power of m so example Two to the power of three times three to the power of three. Both of these base number have the same power to the power of three. So we'll let them multiply each other while we write the power of three outside, bracket them up. So two times three is six and to the power of three. We'll just let this and this number, these two base continue their uh, multiplication while we pull out the power since both of the powers are the same and after that it's still here. E. Now we do go to division. A to the power of m divided by b to the power of m. Both of them have the same power as well. So it's actually almost the same as multiplication. We'll let them continue the division job while we pull out the power like that. It's actually almost like factorization. So example, six to the power of three divided by three to the power of three. We pull the power out and bracket it up, let it continue the division and pull out the power, factorize it out and there we go to 2 to the power of 3. Simplify. This is for loss of indices. And then we go to <coughs> logarithms. So for logarithms, when a is equal to b to the power of c, then log base b, a is equal to c. It's more complicated and vice versa. So when uh, log base b, a is equal to c, Actually, go to a equals to b to the power of c. For a few examples, you can see. It is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Therefore, we can change it into a log form. Log base b. So, 2 is the b log base 2 and then a. 8 is the a so log base to a equals to c. 3 is the c so 3. Another example when log base 2 16 is equal to 4 therefore 16 is equal to 2 to the power of 4. 16 is the A, 2 is the B, and C is the 4. 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. 